Hey YouTubers, it's your buddy Platt. And today I'm going to be drinking a beer from Fort Collins Brewery. This particular beer is actually known as Dieter. Um, this is a series of uh, 22 ounce bombers they do called their Malt Monster Series. And each one of the monsters gets a different name, this beer being uh, known as Dieter. They do a line of beers like uh, Belgian Dubel doubles, uh, Wee Heavies, Barley Wines, and this particular one is a Dunkel. Now, Dunkels are dark German lagers. They tend to be usually on the lighter side alcohol-wise. Well, this is a bigger beer, so I would almost classify it as a Doppelbach, but it's a dark German lager, higher in alcohol concentration. Actually, let's run over the numbers. 8% ABV, uh, 22 IBU, so there's little hops, but not not a real hoppy beer considering the alcohol content. And uh, the SRM is 30. So let's give her a try. There we go. We got a very Dark red, almost root beer in color, I'm going to say. Very similar to a root beer. Boy, you pick up the malt notes. Um, thin head. I'm going to catch that right off the bat. Um, mild on the carbonation. So definitely get plenty of the dark, malty notes. Let's give her a try. Oh, yeah, that is good. Slight hints of kind of an espresso chocolate notes, but not not in the stout kind of sense. Just just hints. Um, easy to drink, but you you can tell there you can tell it's a higher alcohol beer. Um, but like I said. Uh, Viscosity wise is a very drinkable beer. This is a, this is a nice brew. Um, this is just light enough where it's drinkable this time of year, but I'm gonna say here in a month or two when the night starts cooling off, this beer and with the alcohol content's really gonna be good for the fall season. That's nice, like I said, the head went down pretty quick, but overall, and I, I'm a fan of German beers too, so I, I really like this style. I like I like the lager finish of a beer, but I like I like the maltiness and the you know of these German styles. Speaking of the fall, fall beer season's gonna be here before you know it, and we're gonna start brewing. I'm definitely gonna start brewing again when it cools off a little bit more, and more people will start getting back into kind of a beer mentality obviously with Oktoberfest and beer fall beer festival season coming up we're going to definitely talk about more beer like I said brew some more beer and if you're going to your brew shop anytime soon to plan your fall brewing I want to remind you to pick up a little yeast nutrient if you've never used it before basically this is just to help kick start your yeast um, we uh, we know that yeast you know, eat the sugars in our brews and create the alcohol. But sometimes in, in these bigger beers, especially something like a barley wine or if we do a meat or whatever, we give them so much to eat, it might be a little much for the yeast. So a little bit of the yeast nutrients, generally around a, you know, the two gallon batches I like to do or whatever, generally a teaspoon will help out. And this stuff's a powder, so you don't have to worry about it going bad as long as you keep it cool and dry it's uh, good for up to a couple years but if you're planning your fall brewing season and want to get into some bigger kind of a kind of beers i definitely suggest you pick up yeast nutrient you can either get your home brew shop or online at some of the big online stores like northern brewer midwest brewing supply i think even mr beer might even carry it but uh, definitely something you'll want for the fall brewing season well, I hope you liked this video, and if you did, please subscribe down below. Also, please like and share with your friends, 
Have you any questions, comments, leave them in the section below, or you can always contact me on the Twitter page. Well, until next time, bottoms up.